Sometimes when you're programming, you have a string or a list and you need to be able to convert, convert between the two. So let's look at how to convert between the strings and lists. I'm going to go ahead and create a new text document or new program. Program dot py. And I'll go ahead and edit it with Notepad++. Now, the first thing I want to do is get a string. And so I'm going to grab that from the command line. So import sys. And then I'll just do my string equals sys.argv1. Now, you want to do some kind of error checking, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. I want to display the string so you can see what, it, what I start with. Display string. And I'll just print it out. Print string. Next, I want to take that string and convert it into a list. So convert string into a list. So I will say my list. You can't use list because that's already kind of taken. Equals list my string. And so what I'm doing is typecasting this string into a list. And then I'm putting it into my list. So I'm going to go ahead and print that out. Print my list. And then I will save that. And we'll go ahead and run it to see where we're at. So I'll take this. And I will do program. And then do ASDF. And run it. And you can see that ASDF is the original string. And it becomes ASDF in this list. So that's where we're at so far. Next, I want to come reverse the order of the uh, letters in the string. So reverse the order. And the only reason I'm doing this one is just because we want to see how it's how you can recombine it later. So I will say my list reverse. Quick little reverse function. And then we're going to print out the list again. So print my list. So let's go ahead and save that and run it so we can see what happened. So run it again, and you can see now it's FDSA. It has been converted over to a reverse list. The last step is to recombine it. So convert the list into a string. All right. Now, when you do that, you need to figure out what your string is first, and then you decide what is your joining character in between each of them. So if you were doing some kind of a, a comma separated values, you might put a comma here. If you are doing nothing, just straight text, you will just, just what I'm doing right now. Then I'll just do a blank empty and there's nothing in between and I'll do a join and I'm joining the my list list into the string and I'll print out the string print string. Save that. And we'll go ahead and run it and we'll see what happened. So now you can see that the ASDF was converted into FDSA. And you can see the steps in the process. And this is the code to do it. So there you see how to convert between strings and lists.